My next upload this morning is for the attention of those of the Recovery Fellowship and the circumstances that are of common knowledge, public knowledge in this um, outrageous, embarrassing charade in Tralee County Kerry since I became a married mom in 2015. Now, um, since 2006, I've been working arduously um, for recovery. Um, since 2003, I've been working arduously for education. Um, since 2015, I've been working arduously for my child. Um, so in the past five years, there have been individuals working arduously for my farm holdings and for displacement of Mrs. Maria McElligot of Tralee County Kerry in their treason um, effort, treasonous efforts in our hometown community and county in the southwest of Ireland. Um, these individuals have not displayed a shred of courtesy, common sense or integrity. They have not uh, displayed professional behaviours. They have not displayed um, good practice. Um, so there's been obstacles placed in my way. Um, my medical care has been withheld from me. Uh, my doctors refused to uh, treat my physical ailments, but they defamed and slandered my character without actual substance to their uh, defamation. So um, these efforts have been supported. And this is for the interest of the Recovery Fellowship of Sanity and Sobriety and the insanity that I'm confronted with by individuals in the community that um, have been steadfast in their efforts to designate, decide about other people's lives and livelihoods. So as far as all sane-minded, healthy, rounded, evolved human beings are aware, um, that kind of a mentality isn't very positive when there are circumstances um, such as mine in this uh, situation there, as I've mentioned in the previous upload, people been, that have been gaining monetarily from my work. And it's really embarrassing to have to publicise this, but it has been even more more embarrassing the publicity that I have heard and uh, experienced since 2016 when these individuals publicised um, their assault against a royal sacred in Tralee County, Kerry, Ireland. So it's been ongoing since 2016 and it's 2021 and there have been individuals of poor tactics, poor behaviours as I've mentioned, childhood tactics, very dangerous childhood tactics and um, it's, it's, it's a mental uh, mindset that uh, most mature adults wouldn't tolerate. So I'm really surprised that um, there have been individuals that are cooperating with offenders against the state. So as a recovery advocate for those of sanity and sobriety, I am making it known to you that unfortunately, as a recovery advocate, I have been assaulted and my anonymity has been breached since 2016 when individuals of artificial developments in this community started publicising my personal information. So my anonymity has been breached and um, the sanity and sobriety concepts have been disrespected and the traditions and the steps have been disrespected in Tralee County, Kerry, Ireland also. It's a sad sign of the times that um, a government of 2021 that has heard from me since 2017 still has not displayed strength, courage or serenity or wisdom to confront me personally with due respect and reparations for what they have damaged to my family and my my livelihood and my pro profession and purpose that they have known individuals to be exploiting and monetarily gaining from. It's really a sad sign of the times that there have been individuals exploiting financially from a spiritual purpose. So this is for the attention of those of the strength, courage, serenity and wisdom with regard to the poor behaviours that I'm um, tolerating 
that do not des demonstrate courtesy or common sense and that are not respecting the traditions or the steps. So um, anonymity has been breached since 2016 and the um, representatives of the country that have obligations to my royal bloodline have not had the courtesy to confront me with regard to the um, problems that have been unduly and unnecessarily caused for me. It's unjustifiable what I've experienced, it's inexcusable and it's unforgivable. And the damages to my child and I have not been addressed at all by the government. So this is for the interest of the fellowship, just to highlight the abuses that uh, mental health professionals have conducted as well against my child and I. Uh, mental health professionals and the um, associated bodies that have actually developed from my experiences uh, aspects of legislation from my experience and from my work and from my purpose and that have uh, disrespected the accreditation of that um, legislation is also another factor I'd like to bring to the re uh, knowledge of uh, fellowship uh, representatives and advocates throughout the world. So uh, there's huge discrepancies in this entire situation and it's a democracy. So I'd appreciate the fellowship of uh, sanity and sobriety um, holding my child in your prayers. And um, he's only six and he's been through hell. And the government has been aware since 2017. So I hope the guards in the government of the country that I am of um, are aware of how serious a matter it is when uh, sanity and sobriety of uh, the fellowship is disrespected. And the issue of my royal patronage and the obligations that are due to royal patronage when that is disrespected. That's another serious issue. So I'd appreciate the government having a bit of courage and strength and serenity and wisdom. Um, it would be very um, noble and honourable. So um, this is for the attention of the Fellowship of Sanity and Sobriety. And just to be aware that in County Kerry, Ireland, there are individuals representing uh, mental health care providers that are um, abusing people's rights to privacy, proximity and protection from uh, offences and repeat offences.